Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we'll be looking at an amazing tool that's not only going to save you time planning, but it's also going to help you support those EAL and ELL students in your class. So let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the tool I'm talking about is RDPT. This stands for Reading Difficulty Power Tools. Now it was developed during the recent lockdown by James Abella, and this is a script that you can run on Google Docs. It's going to give you a full overview of the text you're using in Google Docs. And it's going to give you some suggestions as to how you can improve this to make it more accessible to your students. So let's have a look at what it does. Now I've got a sentence here ready on Google Docs. Now, as you can see, this is a fairly complex sentence, but let's run the reading power tools. At the top, you will see you have reading power tools. And we're going to click on that. And then we are going to run the difficulty guide. So let's go ahead and do that now. It is running the script. And because this is the very first time I'm running it, I'm going to have to authorize it. So let's go ahead and click on continue. You will authorize that with your account. And there we go. It opens up on the side of your Google Doc. Now do note, this is a Google script and therefore this will not work on mobile devices. So let's have a look at what it gives us. First of all, it gives us a flash score. You can see at the moment it's good. And then it also gives us the vocabulary difficulty. Now here you can see this fair amount of beginner words, but there's also some very difficult words in there. So the unaided reading age is between 16 and 18. So we're going to scroll down. It gives us an estimated reading time and then also some challenging vocab highlights. So you can see it's highlighted five words here, but we can do something else. We can click on that menu at the top again and then click highlighting. Now we're going to highlight the low frequency words. And as you can see, the script runs and it's now highlighting those low frequency words. And so we can simplify this so we can just get rid of them altogether. So let's go ahead and do that now. Imagine reading. So we can just remove this and make this simpler. Reading in a language you do not fully understand with words of exceptional lexical complexity. I'm going to change that into with complex words. And there we go. So now our sentence has been simplified and it's much easier for our students to understand this sentence. We can now go to reading power tools and we can run the difficulty guide again. There we go. It's going to update this. And as you can see, it's still a good flesh core, all beginner words, and there are no difficult words here. It gives you an unaided reading age of 10 to 12. And so we've been able to now change the document and make it more user friendly for our students. In addition to this, it also lets us do a number of other things. So let's go back to the original version of this document. Here we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a table to now support the learning of new vocabulary. So now I'm going to click on reading power tools again and I select doc low frequency words. It's running the script and it's getting that word list on the right hand side. This will also give, give us a level and it allows us to click on the definition and then it pulls up the definition from the dictionary. So this is not only a great tool for you as a teacher to plan your lessons, but it will also enable your students to now independently go and find out the meaning of these complex words. We can also create a sheet of all those low frequency words. So let's go ahead and run that script, creates a sheet, and then it gives us that spreadsheet that is going to be generated. When we go to that spreadsheet, we now have a spreadsheet and this links out to the definition, synonyms, maybe even an image of that word. So here, for example, we have exceptional. We're going to click on definition and this links out to the definition. In addition to that, when I click on synonym, it is going to link out to the page on dictionary.com for synonyms. So this is an incredibly useful tool. It's going to save you so much time planning your lessons. And then finally, let's add in a table inside this document with all those low frequency words. So we're going to go to reading power tools again and then click on add a low frequency word table. This adds in a table in this document. And again, students can make their own notes, but they can also click on these links and it will give them the definition on dictionary.com. So a great tool. Now, if you want to check out this tool, look in the description below or the first pinned comment because there is a Google Sites. Now on that website, you'll have all the information you need to get started with RDPT. Now, this is what that website will look like. Now, in order for this to run, you'll have to run the script within a Google document. And so this is a script 
as part of a Google document. And so what you do is you have to scroll down here and find where it says open the beta. So as soon as you click on open beta, it's going to prompt you to make a copy of this document. That means that you will be creating your very own document. So we're going to click on make a copy. This opens up a brand new Google Doc and it has a full overview of everything you can do within Reading Difficulty Power Tool. You can go ahead and delete this text because what we want is that built-in script here at the top. You can see that Reading Power Tools is part of this document. We can now take any other text and simply paste it in. So let's go ahead and do that with the I have a dream speech. So I'm going to just copy this text here and we're going to paste it into our new document. Now we're going to run our power tool. So let's go ahead and click on RDPT and let's go ahead and give it a difficulty guide. It's going to scan the entire document. We authorize this script to run and there we go. It's given us a full overview of this text. So here you can see there are lots of beginner words. There's some difficult words. It gives us an unaided reading age even a predicted reading time. So here we see grade four child or year five in the UK, about 12 minutes to read this. An adult will take about 10 minutes to read this text. And then at the bottom, we've got some challenging vocabulary that is highlighted. Now at the end of the text, we're going to insert that low frequency word table. And that challenging vocabulary is now part of this table. And it links out to all the definitions of these words. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to scroll all the way down, leave a comment, subscribe to that channel. Let me know, are you using this tool? Will you be using it in the future? And what would you like to see added to it? I'd love to hear in that comment section below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.